Welcome to battle troop, in my point of view. Oh, no, you. So I'm not a hater. I can only give you the facts that's written on these papers. And since we have no dealing, therefore, the court can care less about your feelings. I'm the Honorable Malachi Markillian, your presiding judge, chairman and spokesperson for the one united front. You are my witnesses and jury. You may be seated. Court is now in session. Let's talk about it. Okay, man. Smack volume 11 just ended. And let me just let y'all know it was a horrible event. Okay. Yes, it was a horrible event. Um, Tay Rock and Sirius Jones, I thought was headlining, but it ended up being New Jersey Twerk and T-Top. Um, on top of that, um, it wasn't a good event at all. I'm glad it's over. Now, with that being said, Tay Rock and Sirius Jones, man. Sirius Jones finally get the battle he been asking for for the past 10 years. And would he, would he take advantage of the moment and opportunity? Coming off of a terrible loss with Geechee Gotti where he was almost booed up out of the venue. Now he's going up against Tay Rock, who is once again trying to uh, 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 claim being the face of the URL. Tay Rock, stop it. You ain't been the face of the URL in five years, bro. Okay? And I don't know why some of you battle rappers be saying that. Maybe because y'all give him that title knowing you finna battle him. So if you beat him, you can make it seem like it was more than what it really was because you beat the face of the URL. No. Tay Rock ain't been the face of the URL in over five years, man. Come on, we not gonna play that. But Tay Rock had made it his business after being disgusted in Big K winning the champion of the year from an all-white panel of judges that literally basically gave him the champion of the year. And also based upon not too many people really voting this year as they normally would have voted. And apparently it didn't come down to who had the that who actually was the champion of the year, which was Geechee Gotti, clearly. Nobody in battle rap history have did what that man did last year alone. But I guess they determined what was champion of the year based upon who they believe beat Murder Moot. So that's what champion of the year was based upon, who beat Murder Moot. When in reality, Big K didn't even beat Murder Moot. Neither did he beat T-Rex, neither did he beat Sharon, but they swept that all under the rug and gave an all-white panel to make the final decisions based upon pigmentation. Anyway, Tay Rock making his business because he wants to be champion of the year this year, which is going to be real hard for him to do, seeing that he already battled everybody with a uh, uh, big name. So, He's battling mediocre battle rappers because he battled everybody that got a name. So he got his work double cut out for him. So he doing all these battles that he got. Like he got three battles in one month back to back in March and in April. However, he making his business to want to go out the champion of the year. And I would say this, man, he have been on the tail. He's been on fire and he's been kicking butt. I'm just going to keep it real. If I'm just going to keep it 100 with you, man. He definitely been on a run and his material been stupid crazy. Stupid crazy. So Sirius Jones definitely got his work cut out for him. First round star Sirius Jones come out a little slow. Like I said, you ain't going to beat Tay Rock with that conversation type talk and you want to slow thing down and you want to have a a a one-on-one -on -one grown man bar talk type stuff like you know so he started out slow like that and, and, and it took him a, a a little bit to get things going in the first round but when he got it going he got it going and he did his thing i ain't gonna hate on the man you know I gave Sirius Jones 23 points in the first round. Um, so Tay Rock, come on. 
after him. And let me just say, Tay Rock had a fire first round also, but it was just straight drama from beginning to end. No breaks, just stupid crazy. I gave Tay Rock 25 points to Sirius Jones 23. So right now, Sirius Jones down one going into the second. Now, going into Sirian Jones' second, he was already fighting an uphill battle because the people in the venue wasn't really there to give him love like that. If he was going to get them to show him love, he was going to have to take it, and his material was going to have to be that damn good. And that's exactly what I thought he did in the second round. His material was that damn good, and he took his respect in that second round. And in the second round, I got Sirius Jones with 24 points. I thought he turned up. I thought he uh, 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 raised the level as far as, like, the energy. I thought he had better substance in that second round. And Tay Rock would have to come with it in order to close him out in the second round. Would he be able to do it? Going into the sec second round, Tay Rock come on board. And Tay Rock, again, solid fire round. Solid fire round. Tay Rock didn't really have to change nothing. All he had to do was just be Tay Rock and make sure that he came with more than enough. And I don't believe he did that in the second round. I thought his second round was solid, but it wasn't enough to give him that win. So I got Sirius Jones. 24 points in the second over Tay Rock's 19 points. Going into the third round, one in one one, Sirius Jones and Tay Rock. No, 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 no. Before Tay Rock, before we get into third round, that was an altercation between Sirius Jones and Tay Rock. Sirius Jones in the first round was touching Tay Rock, and Tay Rock was letting it be known in a respectable manner. Look, man, stop touching me. Just get through your material. Sirius Jones took offense in that. And rather than being like, all right, my bad, it's no big deal. He wanted to say something about it, which led to an altercation and a heated back and forth between the two that Beasley them had to come in between them. Security had to come in between them. And Rock and him, Rock basically invited him that after the battle was over, me and you can go to the back and, 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 and we could take it there. Serious looking at him like, boy, I will hurt you. So you getting beside yourself. But however, I don't know what happened after the battle, but one one going into the third. Another thing about you, serious, just keeping it real. Stop talking through people rounds. It's like you always have to talk through people rounds. Like you trying to convince the people that if a person cook and he ain't really cooking, you try you you try to take away and become a distraction to people while they on stage. And that's the same thing that had Mav Hoffa pop you in the mouth a couple of times. I'm just keeping it real, bro. You got that bad. And it's like you can't you don't even see it. And then when you when you called out on it, you get offended about it. And this is one of the reasons why, bro. You can never step into this greatness that you self-proclaim you at because your personality and character just don't register with the battle rap community. And you need to fix that. You need to fix that by being more honorable and by actually, like, come on, bro. Stop doing that. Going to the third round if one... One one in the third round. Sirius Jones again had another fire round to close out the third round. I thought he did more than enough. He was in and out of his bag. He was very creative. He attacked Rock on different angles, man. And I thought that what was the difference in Tay Rock and Sirius Jones in this battle. He had different bags he was in and out of, but at the same time, he was very creative about how he mixed things up and actually lined it up with Tay Rock and how he showed his lyrical ability by which he was able to strategically put things together in perspective that actually uh, showed his maturity throughout his rounds. And I thought in that third round, he did his thing, man. 
And I gave him 25 points in the third round. So I was like, okay, now Rock going to have to come with it to beat that 25. He's going to have to come, you know, with it, with it. And Rock is the one to do that. But he didn't do that. Rock came in the third round, and I thought Rock was good all three rounds. I thought he was even good in the third round, solid and fire. But I just don't think he did enough to beat Sirius Jones. I got Sirius Jones winning this battle, 2-1, second and third, second and third. And I thought those rounds was clear for me. So I gave Rock 23 points to Sirius Jones, 25 points in the first round. I mean, the third round. So I got Sirius Jones 23 to Rock 25 in the first then I got Sirius Jones 24 to Rock 19 in the second. Then I got Sirius Jones 25 to Rock 23 in the third. I got Sirius Jones winning this battle 2-1 over Rock. He, 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 he begged for this battle for eight years. He finally got it. I believe he came with it. He started out slow in the first, but after he got into his zone, I believe he delivered. And so many other people believe he delivered also because – from what I'm seeing right now, they got Sirius Jones winning on the polls. Shots out to Rock, though, because he did come with it all three rounds, did his thing. Definitely a fire battle. Definitely got hella replay value. And Smack Volume 11 was a terrible event, but this was a fire battle. With that being said, it's your boy Battle Truth. It ain't my judgment. That's a question. It's yours. Subscribe to Battle Truth. Uh,